start. I don't know what to do with my hands. Dad? <laughs> Okay, what up? Ugh! Look at this. This was a tree that a beaver ate. See that? That's what the beaver chewed up. And we ended up cutting it down. And thanks to what was in the box, which I'm really bad with the whole surprise thing because it was on the last video that I got a sawmill. I made some wood. So let's go show you guys what I did that turned what used to be some trees and some logs into some lumber. So this is what I've been making. I just cut those today, turned them into some one by, and they will turn into shiplap that will go on the walls in the house. But here is the sawmill. Um, it is the little fella. It's nothing big, nothing super fancy. Uh, it's the most simple one that Hudson makes. Um, it's the Hudson Hunter. It's also the exact same as the Sawyer, except for the paint job, which is much cooler on this one because it is camo. And... Um, I mean, I'm not really big into camo, but you know, it is what it is. It's cool. So with the, uh, the little Hunter here, um, the specs, I don't know all the details specifically off the top of my head, but it's a small little Chinese motor, same motor that's on my water pump that I bought from Harbor Freight, but it can cut, I think it's like a 16 or an 18 inch log. The rail system that it comes with, uh, standard rail system is aluminum with uh, nine foot length, which is great for what I'm doing. It's not huge. It's not something like if you're trying to build a whole house, this is not going to be big enough to do some major timbers and big long stuff. You'd have to get extensions and things or just a bigger sawmill overall. But um it works real good. It works great for what I uh, am doing now. I've ran two decent sized logs through it and uh, it it's cut them no problem. It is poplar though, that's a really soft wood. Um, and I'll say this, Hudson is awesome. The guy I bought it from, uh, really great dude, really good price, good quality, awesome support except the actual video that he made the putting it together drove me nuts i'm sorry but it drove me nuts because the order of operation was really really off um so that was a little bit of a challenge to figure out how to put it together when the video was like in odd sequence but i can't do a full review i will do one later on after i've used it more and i can say what I find good, bad, or other about it, but as of now, the amount that I've used it, which is just, like I said, two logs have gone through it, it seems to work great, and I'm pretty stoked about it. So, I'm gonna be dragging some logs out of the woods right back there, and turn those logs into some lumber. And uh, you'll be able to see what that looks like here in a second. <laughs>
addition to my sawmill I had to get some tools to go with the sawmill but what tools do I need to go with the sawmill let's see they're in the box I already have a chainsaw and of course that's needed in order to like cut down the tree in order for that tree to turn into a log and then the log to turn into a piece of lumber but here I needed wedges no they're not cheese wedges they're uh, I don't know logging wedges So that when I cut down the tree, tap those bad boys in there, make sure it goes the right direction. And I can use these on the sawmill to help hold the log in place when I'm first getting it set up so it doesn't roll around. So that's always nice, you know, not to have it rolling around on you. So we got some wedges. Woo -woo. All right, what's in this one? Earth worth. Oh, isn't that so sweet? Oh, earthy. Earthy and whatnot. Can you smell it? it smells earthy. <laughs> earthy. All right. Look, it's plastic. What is it? It's not plastic. It's just wrapped in plastic. It is a timber PV cant hook. They call it a PV. I've always heard it called a cant hook. But uh, not for overhead lifting, this timber PV by Earthworth is not for overhead lifting. See? Warning. And I usually like to take these when I get something. It's got all these warning pages. It's very important that you keep these until you're ready to start a fire. Because that paper makes a good fire starter. Alright. And that things is fun. Alrighty. So, I think that will do the trick. So this is backwards. All right, so I'm gonna have to unbolt that. It's not really torqued down. They just did it that way for shipping purposes. So if you get one of these, don't try to use it like this. That's not the way it's supposed to work. It goes like this. And I don't know the difference between a PV and a cant hook. In my mind, they are the same thing, but I don't know. Maybe there is a difference. I'm not sure. But you'll see that in use later on when I have the log and I'm rolling it up onto the uh, sawmill because that's going to help me to handle the 
the logs much safer, more effectively, instead of just trying to do it myself. Oh, all right. And the big box. I know what you're saying. What else could he have for his sawmill stuff? And you know what I'm saying? The same thing, because I don't remember what I ordered. I knew this, and I remember the wedges. I'm looking at this, and I'm going, hmm, that's a pretty big box. Huh? And that's why I don't remember. Surprise! It's not for my thing, for the sawmill. It's water filters! And that's not for the sawmill. I don't filter the water that's used on the sawmill because it's for cooling and lubricating the blade. So, that's that. Oh, I lied. I did have something else. That is for sawmilling. It's a 16 inch lifting slash skidding tongs. And these bad boys are gonna go with my tractor so that I can lift and skid my uh, logs and move them around in the woods and get them from the woods to the sawmill. So, let's look at that. Bam! There they are. So, what's cool about these guys, uh, if you're not sure what these are or how they work, basically this end will be hooked to uh, a chain or an eyelet on the uh, back of the tractor where the backhoe is. And then this, when it goes down over the log, it opens up like that, right? And then they'll spread to go down over the log. And then when you lift, because it's going to pull pressure up, right? And that pressure going up kind of works like scissors, and it pulls it together. And that gives it a real good bite, and that lifts the log. So the weight of the log, ironically enough, helps to lift it, because that weight pulling down forces these little points to come together inside and grip that log. So... 16 inch again like I said uh, this can make a pretty big opening to get started and then they grab down on that log lift it up drag it around wherever I need to go with it and set it down onto the mill when it's ready so now when I go move my logs, you'll see me using these handy dandy tools. Yay! And when I'm drinking my water, it'll be filtered. 